everybody, welcome to Crafty Becky Tutorials. I'm Crafty Becky, and in this tutorial, we're going to be making a classroom rule poster for teachers. Make sure to subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. When we hit a 1,000 Crafty family members, we're going to have a big giveaway. If you're already a returning Crafty family member, then please give yourself a big hug for me. Okay, let's get started. So this is ChatGPT, and I want to write some rules because I was thinking of giving this to Brian's teacher. He's in second grade, so I wrote five important rules for a second grade classroom. You can also sell this on Teachers Pay Teachers, or you could sell it on Etsy. Like on Etsy, classroom rule posters are really popular. They usually write kind of simple for kids to understand. Like there's all these rules here, like share with friends, clean up. And there's all these like rule posters because you know teachers they have to pay themselves to decorate their classroom sometimes they're given money you know to decorate their classrooms but a lot, a lot of times they don't like my sister is a teacher and she wasn't given any money at all she had actually pay herself to decorate her old classroom and she used a lot of printables on etsy and she also made some herself in powerpoint and canva so these are some classroom rules here this is classroom expectations agreement and we're also going to make it like a simple classroom rule poster so you can even customize it so you can put the teacher's name, classroom rules. And there's like 10 rules here. And I went into chat GPT here and I came up with some rules. I'm going to say, um, write, write 10 simple classroom rules for second grade graders. Like the, it gave me this one. Like some simple rules for them. And it's generating like clean up, no running, share and take turns, do your best, hands to yourself. Like that's a really important one. You know, kids are always trying to like mess with each other, you know, follow directions like this is good. Nice simple rules. So we'll go and um, copy this and let's make a new document in Canvas. I'm going to go create a design, flyer portrait, and I'm going to call this classroom classroom rules poster and go to file and go to view settings and go show margins and then also turn on show rules and guides now let's try to get to the center point and it will lock on to the center and then let's get in the middle so it locked on to the middle so let's get the text and we're going to use a subheading I'm going to align it to the left I'm going to decrease it a little bit And paste the rules. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to um, make them look prettier as, as well so we can decorate the rules. And let's, let's um, change the font to something else called Hey Gotcha. That's kind of simple, like something easy to read. Called Bright. You don't want any script fonts because these are little kids that are reading this. Horizon, that's kind of big. League Spartan, Valero Base, Sunborn. Yeah, that looks kind of like angry to make long caps. When you type all in caps, it just looks angry like you're screaming. We just want kids to be able to see these rules easily. There's Anton. Like that one could possibly work. It's nice and big. They might be hard to read because it's so thick. Got Kaibo Nero. You can increase the size a little bit on that one. We can bold the most important ones. Clean up. Yeah, let me get rid of this no running one. Might get rid of some of these. Hands to yourself. And then follow directions.
We could possibly get rid of um like some of this this text. Raise your hand. Maybe instead of just just like respect each other, like use like um, respect. Respect respect each other. And keep your hands to your, yourself. That way we could take away some of these. Yeah, respect each other goes with sharing. And we can probably get, get rid of clean up. That's kind of deals with respect. And I don't like the stay in your seat one. It's kind of asking a lot. I think we'll just keep these, keep it simple and easy. And then let's make a, a top heading. This font was Archivo Nero. So let's um, just keep the same font. Archival, it's just called Archival Black. And we could um, do some effects. So let's um, paint it like red. We can do like red. And we can do some effects like an outline. We could do a splice. The splice might look cute. Let's do like a red one. And do the offset direction. Have it spliced that way. So it was kind of 3D a little bit. Might, might look good. Then I'm going to get some color bars behind it, so I'm going to get some shapes. Make it like a rainbow. So that one is the orange now. So that would be orange. And then yellow. That's good. Now it's all the colors, and then this would be purple. And we put the text position to front. We can make the text white. That might be hard to read. You can go to effects, kind of lift it off the page or shadow. Now let's just make, make it black. That might be difficult to read. We could kind of lighten the colors. So let's move them around and kind of um, make all these colors lighter. Yeah, that would be better. Then effects and then just turn off the outline. There we go, it can be the classroom rules. And we could also paint each individual color. We can paint this each individual color. Is it letting us do that? I guess not. I guess you would have to just do each of the words and break it apart. It won't let you do that. You can also curve the text if you wanted to. Let's get like a, um, like some images of like kids, kid graphics. Oh, that's awfully cute. 
Oops. Make some kids here. Okay, so then you go to share and you could download it as a PDF print. You can make this any size. You can make it a tabloid, a legal size, just any size that a teacher could print off. And then download it. And then it looks like this when they print it. Isn't that cute? So as you can see, it's really simple to make a classroom rule poster in Canva. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh look, Brian come over here. What do you have it? What's this say? It says please like and subscribe. Oh, he says dream big. How cute in that picture of us. Look what Brian did. Oh, thanks so much. Make sure you do like and subscribe to be part of the crafty family. Well, have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.